most microphones using Wi-Fi at lower frequencies. Operates at sub gigahertz. Penetrates through walls and tails much better. 10x the range of 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Low power, high data. That solves the problem. Hello, IPXers. We hunt down disruptors for you. We go to the shows that you can't necessarily go to, and we find companies that you won't necessarily have heard of. We found one, Michael, CEO of Morse Micro. So what we want to know, as always, if Morse Micro didn't exist, and you're working on a legacy design, and you're trying to improve it, and you want to understand how you can make that better every day, we come and find people like Michael and ask the question, before you existed, how do design engineers solve the problem that you now solve? Absolutely. So uh, a little bit of background. So Morse Micro, Please. chip company, Wi-Fi chip company, uh, more specifically a Wi-Fi Halo chip company. And many of the people might not have heard of Wi-Fi Halo. Uh, it's a new wireless uh, standard based on the IEEE 802.11ah standard. And it's using Wi-Fi at lower frequencies. Um, many people might know it. So Wi-Fi uh, was invented about 25 years ago. Initially started at 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz. Today there's like yeah, yeah. Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 7 support 6 gigahertz. Oh. Wi-Fi Halo actually goes lower frequencies. So we operate at sub gigahertz. So uh, this means anywhere between 850 to 950 megahertz, depending on the, uh, What's the, the region. advantage of lower frequency? Key advantage, much longer range. Range. Yeah. Right. Higher frequency, higher throughput, lower frequency, longer range. I don't think we need to know why, but there must be a reason. Yeah, so <laughs> the, the, there is a, That's just a fact. But the lower the frequency, the longer the range. Also, the narrower the bandwidth, the longer the range. In addition, right. lower frequency penetrates through walls and materials much better. Right. And so what you get in practice is about 10x the range of 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi yeah. with Wi-Fi Halo. Yeah. On top of that, you get the penetration through walls and materials. So yeah. what it means is like in a... Um, uh, in, in, a, in a residential environment, you get about a kilometer range. If you go into an agricultural environment, you get up to like 15, 16 kilometer range. Right, so let's answer the question. Wi-Fi mm -hmm. is perceived to be, would, would it be true to say that if you're working Wi-Fi now, you, you wouldn't necessarily have thought that there was the ra a range available until you came along? Correct, yeah, so there's other technologies out there, right? Like that, uh, like LoRa is a good example. LoRa yep. gives you, Extreme long range for messaging services. Few bits to kilobits per second. This is tens of megabits per second right. over extended ranges. So you're going to move a lot, lot more data exactly. over a lot, yeah. lot longer range. So, so how, how you have to look at this? So this is like 10 times longer range than 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which means you cover, if you look at a, a two dimension, you cover 100 times the area of traditional Wi-Fi. Uh, the flip side of that is that the throughput is about 10 times lower than uh, traditional Wi-Fi. So yep. instead of getting hundreds of megabits per second, you get tens of megabits per second, yep. which is still a thousand times faster than, for example, LoRa, yep. uh, which operates on the same frequencies. Yep. So the real answer to the question is, you wouldn't have an answer. You wouldn't even be thinking about that because you would think that that didn't exist. You'd be either thinking low data or low range. Exactly. That's so what you do. So for example, you could use LTE to get like long range, but yep. then you have like very high power consumption, very high subscription cost. Yep. This is just Wi-Fi at much longer range than uh, what you can do with uh, 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 traditional Wi-Fi. Right. Okay. So that's answered the question. You probably think you can't do it or you yeah. wouldn't be doing it. Okay. So then Michael from Morse Micro comes along and says, ah, you can. Mm -hmm. So tell us how you solve that problem today. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Morse Micro is a, a chip vendor. We're headquartered in Australia. Uh, we've got about 200 engineers focused just purely on Wi-Fi Halo chip development and creating the best possible chip that gives you the highest throughput at the longest range at the lowest power consumption. Um, and so we work with module vendors uh, like Quectel, Azure Wave, yep. uh, Ventron, yep. who then work with ODMs who build products for uh, end customers. So in terms of th what are the applications that you come across mm -hmm. that need uh, high range, high data, low power? Yep. So, so, so that they understand this might be me. Yeah. That's because that's that's what we're all about. This might be me. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching this video and I yep. want and I want to potentially evaluate something for Morse Micro. Yeah. But so you've just explained very uh, in a very articulate way the the where the sweet spot is. But the application now mm -hmm. explain the applications that you think that is a no brainer win. Yeah. 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 So. General applications IoT, right? So, so that's a big hundreds, 
thousands of, of different applications. Some of the key applications that, that uh, you find on Wi-Fi Halo devices in today are, are outdoor video cameras. Uh, for a consumer, you can output a video camera anywhere around your property. You can have a massive farm in the middle of Australia or the middle of Nebraska. You can output cameras anywhere around your property, yep. solar powered, uh, and, and they'll last uh, forever on batteries. Right. Today, you cannot do that. Today, yeah. the only way to put a camera out in the field somewhere is to use an LTE camera and then go charge it uh, uh, once yeah. a month. Yeah. Um, so that, that's one of the applications. If you look at, uh, uh, it's a, it opens a bunch of agricultural applications, that's industrial. Um, a warehouse, single warehouse, you can cover with a single AP, uh, full warehouse coverage. So again, like you no longer need uh, separate uh, access points uh, to cover an entire warehouse. With this, you cover an entire uh, warehouse, single access points. So you're also talking about a lot less nodes and a lot less infrastructure going Correct. around. Yeah. So a single AP can cover 8,191 stations um, in uh, well, connect to yeah, single AP. Um, the other uh, area where we're getting a lot of traction now is uh, retail. So things like supermarkets, shopping malls, uh, use it for like um, kind of theft prevention, use yep. it for um, uh, automation, um, connecting point of sale terminals, uh, printers. Uh, you can now connect them all wirelessly. Right. Um, so like all design engineers, what the actual answer to that question is, start at the beginning, which is low power, high data, that solves the problem, which you thought didn't exist. Yep. But given the examples that you've just given, now you can. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and really the long range is the key, right? The so, long range. So yep. today, there's a lot of applications where you could solve this with LTE, if you don't care about power and you don't care about cost. With this, cost comes down, power comes down, and you still get that massive range. If you have a parking garage, single access point covers the entire parking garage. Smart metering, uh, it can be used to connect your electricity meter to your home access points at extended ranges of like many kilometers. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you do exist. Mm -hmm. You've just explained how you solve those problems. Yep. We're now gonna get a bunch of our, uh, of, of, of our community going, right, I understand what that does. Mm -hmm. That's potentially me. Yep. How do they evaluate you? Yep. So, so Morse Micro has a number of evaluation kits, uh, primarily focused at the US market today. Uh, so we have the um, Halo Link 1, which is like a uh, reference uh, access points that people can use in the US. Uh, for European markets, we work with a number of um, uh, module partners and solution providers. For example, Quectel have a range of evaluation yep. kits, modules uh, available for people to evaluate. Right. And what sort of volumes would they, you know, for you to be interested in? What, what so, so that we're really we're realistic? Mm -hmm. are, 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 are your typical customers 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, or are you actually quite? So, so we're we're open to working with anyone, right? So it's a right. new technology. We're creating a new market. Uh, we actually have a developer community as well, uh, so people can go to the uh, very good uh, community .com. You get like uh, real time support by our team. Right. So let's just talk about that then. Yep. I'm a design engineer. I get hold of one of your boards. Yep. Okay. What support do you offer in order? Because that's a big yep, issue. Yeah, yeah. We, Fantastic. We, we've just been talking to to Nordic, yep. who promise that they will support 100% everybody. Yep. You get my board. Yep. We'll help you. Yep. Yep. Integrate it. 100%. So, so basically, what people do is you go on Mouser. You can get uh, the developer kits. Uh, all the software is available on GitHub. We've got the community forum. And so that's how we support uh, the vast majority of the developer community, including students. Uh, so, so anyone out there can, can uh, work directly with us. For the people that work on the higher volume, we do have like uh, dedicated FAEs in, uh, in Shenzhen, in Hangzhou, in Taipei, in Portola Valley, in, in California. We've got Boston now. We've got Australia. Uh, we've got India. Um, to work with those kind of high volume customers as well. Right. And then we have a number of module partners and ODMs that can directly support uh, end customers. Excellent, excellent. Well, good. So low power Wi-Fi, long range, more smart Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much.